Hello, I am JS Kim from Gangnam Seoul. Today, I would like to share my experience about thermal hydration. Key word is thermal hydration and revitalization. I used Restylane Vital. Vital can be used for thin, dry, aged skin. Conventional way has some errors. Here's the famous study. Dr. Williams injected 20 points into mid-dip dermis with Vital, avoiding blood vessel and check hydration on stratum corneum. Doctor said it was micro droplet 0.025 cc. Here's the result. The original purpose was to revitalize skin, but it was mainly the volume effect because depth of injection was too deep. As the study indicate, I injected Vital on my own hand. However, I injected 0.01 cc instead of 0.025 cc. Even though I injected less amount of Vital, lumps stayed after 2 months. It was interesting. In order to avoid lumps, we need to inject less quantity with higher density and dilution. To dilute, 0.5 cc of idocaine, 1.5 cc of NS, and 1 cc of Vital are mixed. When we dye the paper, lighter concentration of ink is easier. There are various sizes of filler. For hydration, smaller particles are better. This is common way of the injection, like using water gun. As you can see, we can distinguish easily the wet and dry part. This is volume effect, not hydration effect. This is my way for dermal hydration, like water spray. Originally, there were two widely used techniques, blunt and sharp needles techniques. Blunt needle technique is very useful, but we cannot inject into real dermis with blunt needle. We can inject into dermis with sharp needle. Now, let's talk about the depth more seriously. Have you ever been to 38 degrees line of Korea? But that doesn't mean that you went to the North Korea. It is very hard to enter and exit North Korea. And even if you are in there, it is limited to travel inside. Thermos is just like North Korea, hard to inject. I would like to say the subdermis is South Korea. Subdermis is composed with loose tissues, so it is easier to enter and travel. Also, there is less resistance during the injection and it is easier to massage. Therefore, South Korea is common depth of filler. I named injecting on dermis as mesovital, whereas injecting on subdermis as subvital. This is conventional injection method. Now, you can use new weapon. This is the new injector made in Gangnam. First of all, it has 5 needles, so 5 times faster. With the help of suction cup, skin can be hold, seal, skin can be hold still and stay away from blood vessels. Let's take a look at the needles. As an octopus, the suction cup holds the skin. The red lines are 5 needles, the arrows show the suction flow. We can control the depth dose and the suction power with touchpad. With setting at 15 dose, one shot will be 0.001 cc. I did 1000 shot on the whole face. This is my technique using Vital Injector. The smaller spots on Let's Blood shows the optimal depth. Many lumps mean that you did a good job. The lump will disappear after a cold massage. I injected on pig skin to see the depth. The depth of injection is controllable. Assessment. Microscope. I checked electric resistance on dermis. Dermal thickness was checked by ultrasonic image. Result. It was very different result between dermal and subdermal injection. We were able to do real dermal injection using mesogon. First of all, there were significant changes in microscopic view compared to subvital. For example, skin texture were improved, even whitening effect. Thermal electric resistance decreased. We can treat large skin pores. 
Here is result of subbital by microcanola. In case of thin skins, it was somehow effective as thermal injection. However, there is mainly volume effect with less hydration. So, in case of hands, it is efficient to hide blood vessels and tendons, but it is not effective to improve skin texture. Leg. It shows chronic disease. I did four sessions of mesovital, and the right picture shows improvement. You can see rough skin surface and dry scale on microscopic view. After two days, dry scale was a bit relieved from the point of injection. Bottom is after two years, left side is after six months, and right side is after two years. Before injection, after three days, after one month, these are the exact same spot. Now let's move on to hip. Many women's ischial area gets atrophy. You can see many lumps and improvements of the skin. And dermis was thickened. Upper left is before, right is after. Picture below are after two years, still maintained. Now let's look at hand. Different from Dr. Williams' study, I differentiate the depth of injection. I did both mesovital and subvital on the same patient. This is mesovital. It is safe to inject on the area of a blood vessel because you can shot on dermis. You can see many lumps. There was no major bleeding even on the blood vessel. You can see the improvement. Same patient came back after a year, and this time I did subvital. I injected only on right hand. After six months, the blood vessels and tendons were still hidden. It was the volume effect, not rejuvenation or revitalization. However, when you look at the pictures at the bottom, there was no microscopic change. That means the dryness was not improved by subvital. You can do it on any dry part of skin, elbow, neck. Finally, the finale, the face. This is a 65 years old female. As you can see, wrinkles were surprisingly improved. Plus, skin tone looked brighter. Same patient. Skin tones look much brighter, smooth and sleek. Microscopic photo of crawfish of same patient. One day after, one month after. Wrinkles were improved and looks brighter. This is another patient. Another case. Because lower eyelid skin is thin, subvital not, is not bad. Tear tro treatment by subvital with fat removal. Vertical wrinkles on upper lip can be removed easily by mesovital. Fine wrinkles of thick skin can be improved with mesovital. Even skin pore can be treated. For conclusion, mesovital works great with to hydrate dry skin, whereas subvital is recommended for volume effect. Therefore, two procedures create different results. Thank you.